Lady Di. You guys have to vote if she should stay or go on opianthony.com. There's one last thing we're going to do with, uh, with her. Well, uh, well, to help you with the voting. Well, she works away, and I'll have a secret message to John from Washington, D.C. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> ah, that's rich. <clears throat> there you go. There she is. Lady Di. Wearing her mustache. Is that electrical tape or something that's going to stick? Don't let it keep falling off of your face. You wipe the sweat off your mouth, baby? That was, yeah. yeah. Is there any reason she's dressed like Serpico? Yeah, what is that? It's a hat. Look at the hat. What? What's with a hat? Her hat. And you were today. A nice hat. Not an idea. You're on Golden Pond. It's a nice hat. All right. Well, we got to get right into the fast. Okay. How old are you? How old am I? No. No, I'm like, say, 40. Wearing a Betty Boop shirt that says, Good things come in small packages. Oh, my God. Why would you wear a shirt that says, Good things come in small packages? Because it's a cute shirt. That's why. It's not a cute shirt. Were they sold out a shirt that said, Stupid things come in fat, awful packages? (laughs) No. Wouldn't you know? It's too large, too. But wouldn't you know that someone would read that shirt and think, why is she wearing that? Because she's not a small pack. Yeah, well, I did get stared at with the shirt on, so... You're not good, you are a thing, you never come, and you're a fat package. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jim, I love you, too. The shirt's completely right. Look, I feel bad you that mustache has to stay on, and if you cannot keep that on... We will... Get we will, a marker, get a marker. We will okay. use a marker. A marker? What's wrong with a marker? You wipe it off, Comes it off. You went advance if you use the soap and the solution, you wipe it right off. Put the marker on. We're going to draw a mustache. Even your mustache stinks today. Is it washable? Yeah, of course it's washable. Today, just wipe okay. it off. No, it's on forever. Ever. You use it on the pyramids. Yeah, it's a tattoo. Yeah, Rick is not drawing the mustache. Rick's drawing the mustache. I really don't like her awful shorts. Yeah, I on her right now. I feel bad she has to pay more to fly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, pay more to fly. Yeah. Huh? It's a fat there joke, you ass. Uh, yeah, Rick, just, just do it quickly. Stop moving. And stop sweating. Yeah, impossible. Uh, Anthony, while uh, Rick puts the mustache on Lady Di. Yeah. By the way, uh, Rick's going to have to leave the show in, in, uh, shortly so he can fly. Oh, that's right. Go. He's going to see Aha uh-huh this weekend. Rick's overseas. Shut up. We're not talking to you. Rick's going to Don't England. Your fat face. Yeah. Your Harvey Keitel body. All right, Anthony, we got the test in front of us. We should explain what we're okay. going to do here. That one will stay a little bit. For the next hour, we need everybody that is associated with this radio show as a listener, a faithful listener, to go to opianthony.com and vote whether Lady Di should stay or go. This is very serious, Okay. Okay. And we want. Oh my God! Oh my. God. And we want you to take your vote very seriously, right? Right. So go to opianthony.com and vote if uh, Lady Di should stay or go. But we need everyone that is a faithful listener of this show to vote. We have in our hands a um, a sixth grade test mm-hmm. that we want Lady Di to take live on the air. <laughs> sixth graders, take this okay. test. I'll take that test. Well, that's why you're here. I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I didn't know that until now, so. Well, we don't oh, it's like starting. Uh, it's an elementary school test, so it's grades three through six. <laughs> three through <laughs> six. Yeah. Great. She doesn't have the test in front of her, right? No. no. Okay. And, Ben, you have to keep track of the voting for us on opianthony.com. We need everyone to vote. I'm dead serious. And I know the obvious vote is kick her off the show. I just, I, I just want you guys to think before yeah. you vote. Yeah. Think of the potential is what I'm trying to say. The big picture is what we're looking at here. Right. I looked at that uh, last night. Huge picture. And I, and I have to say, the 25% that voted for me, thank you very much. She's... Yeah, she's uh, losing the vote very badly. Every time you open your mouth, either something stupid is coming out of it or something fattening is going into it. (laughs) (laughs) That is not true. Yeah, right now, Anthony, uh, uh, only 23% of the people want her to stay. 23%. And I are just hoping that you guys 
Look at the big picture. Right. Please, look at the big picture here. We're talking entertainment potential. That's what right. we're looking for. But 76% want her out of here. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, I saw that last night. You said that already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you did. You thanked them and, and everything. Maybe you should go right. through it again. In case everybody right. tuned in. And I guess, I guess we're just going to make this very casual. Uh -huh. We're just going to pick um, questions off uh, the test here. Nice hat. All right. Awful. I'll, I'll start it. Trapper John ate Hawkeye. Fisherman's <laughs> <laughs> hat. Uh, I like it. I think it looks good. Yeah. No, you don't. Guys, yes, I we're, do. we're running out of time. Oh, we are. God damn it. Badly. Uh, we'll start with an easy one, Ann, okay? Okay. I'll ask the first question to Lady Di. Lady Di. Okay. Yeah. Something we discussed the other day. When did Columbus land in America? 1892. Right? Mark that down. No, we can, <laughs> no, we can go. We can, uh, <laughs> we can discuss after each question. Oh, yeah, okay. Did he land in America? Are you reading multiple choice? Mm, wrong. Try again, dumbass. Jesus. All right, you got one wrong so far. <laughs> one wrong. One wrong. 1892. Why do you think it was 1892? I don't know. I thought that's. I, I thought I read that in the history book, so I don't know. I think maybe, maybe I got one thing. That's how long ago 1892 is? Yeah, it's not that long that ago. It's not that long ago. That was a long time ago. 110 years exactly. <laughs> and there's a lot of American history, a lot of world history. All right, it's 1492. Oh, well, there she goes. She just wants. <laughs> it's too late, though. Take yeah. that down. Too late. It's too late. Okay. All right, and, uh, uh, wrong answer. The question. The question goes to you. All right. And go to opinionanthony. dot com. Let's see if the vote is changing at all. No, it's not changing yet. No. <laughs> go ahead, Ann. And the website getting slammed. Good. When did the War of eighteen twelve actually start? Ah. The uh, multiple choice, 1810, 1811, 1812, or yesterday? 1810. Wrong. Try again, dumbass. It's the War of 1812. And it started 1810, right? No. Oh, it started in 1812. <laughs> 1810 is your cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> My cholesterol is good. Of course it is. It's normal. It's, yeah. Pudding. Pudding running through those veins. Pudding. She didn't have oh. after all eating plankton all day. Eating what all day? <laughs> That's question 25. All right. Okay. Uh, do you know who the first president of the United States was? George Washington. All right, but that's not the question. <laughs> <laughs> who was the second president? Of the United States. The second president of these United States. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln? Why should we give a choice? I'm the second president. I might not be able to get that without you. I will give, we'll give uh, multiple choice. Go ahead. All right. Give her multiple choice. Samuel Adams, John Adams, John Quincy Adams, Gomez Adams. John Quincy Adams. Can get that one? Uh, wrong. Try again, dumbass. I'm trying. Old Sorry. for three. John Adams. This is uh, an exam that uh, third graders, uh, third to, to sixth yeah. grade, take. Marion. Yeah, hi. How you doing? Hey, hey Marion. How you doing? Hey, hey, guys. I, I had to call up because you know why? I think you guys should follow off the show for about me. Yeah. Why? Diane, you know why. We discussed this last night. I'm not going to get into it on the air. Why? No, why? You have to get into it on the air. You know what? Let me tell you one thing. She thinks more about it herself than she does anybody that else. That is not true. Diane, you know it is too, and you know it. Ooh. Let me tell you one thing right now. You should stop going around telling people you're a celebrity. Yes, you are. Who did say that to? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We I discussed it last night. You, you want me to start? I will no, start. No, Believe me. No, don't start. 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 Believe me. I will start. Man, how did this conversation well, start? You know what? I'm going to tell you how it got started. Ooh. This week. I've been trying to get her to do more stuff. Walking, well, no, going out, she's doing it, doing that. Let me tell you something. She sits home every night with a bond, 
bottle in her mouth. I don't Ooh. have a bottle in my mouth. Yes, you I do. You don't care. Don't lie to me. I know you because every time you talk to me, you're half in a bag. Ooh. How do you know that? Because I can tell. Come on, you're stunning. You're fighting with me. You're fighting with your father. You're fighting with Emily. I feel, you know what? You're ridiculous. Oh you tell people you're a celebrity. I didn't tell you them when I was a celebrity. Why would I do that? Diane, you told me yesterday when you took your car, you had to get a rental car for Enterprise because your car is falling apart. You told people Enterprise that you're a celebrity. I did not tell them that. Did. I told you them really? that I go on the show. No. Enterprise. Do that. Is it because you look like Peter Sellers in that head? <laughs> yeah. Because let me Peter tell you Sellers. something, guys. She should be thrown off the show for a month. Maybe she'll straighten her ass oh, a little she, bit. Wow. She should. Whoa! So you've been throwing That's your well. uh, you've been throwing yes. your weight around. Yeah, yes. yeah. I throw my weight yes. around. <laughs> Explain the uh, earthquakes we've been. Yeah, yeah. She's been States. throwing a lot of weight, and you know what she's yeah. been doing, Anthony? Uh. She has been fighting with me all oh. week, and she's been fighting with her father and her father's, uh, you know, friends. Oh, boy. Because you know what it is? She fights with everybody because the only I thing that matters anybody. Anybody is true. The only thing that matters is, is yourself. All right, I love OP and Anthony, too, and everybody up there. But you don't want to know Thank what you do. Everything, everything gets tuned out. Everything else in your life gets tuned out, and it's not right. Mm, what oh. you're doing. Then you die. you going to fight back? Or I, think you should get, I think you should get thrown off at least like for one month. Things. At least for one month. Maybe it'll straighten out your ass. Oh, I, I want you to believe her. Off. We want you guys to cat fight. No, 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 no. Why would they be like, because she's already, she's in that. Now she's trying to get it, and you want to boot it off. I hope, oh. I hope people do vote you off the show. Unbelievable. Why? Why? I was just on the internet, and a lot of people, what people, because you know why? You don't have to ask. Oh, come on. Diane, it's true. Every time I try talking to you the last couple of days, you stuttering, you don't know what you're talking about, you don't even know I'm calling you. I mean, come on. I know you were calling me. No, no, you don't even know that you're fighting with me on the phone every night. What is wrong with you? You have, what you, you have problems, and you act like you're the only one with problems. Oh, really? All right, Marion. Hold, right, hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold yeah. On. <laughs> Lady Di, you have nothing. <laughs> Your friend just destroyed you. Destroyed you, man. Well, because I listen to the show, and you know, she gets. Anthony, go ahead. She's uh, 0 for 3 so far. Yeah, 0, 0 for 3. 3. Uh, who started a famous speech with four score and seven years ago? Was that Franklin Delano Roosevelt? M Mallard Fillmore? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln or Richard Nixon? Abraham Lincoln. I got that one. Yes, you that one. Wrong okay. Spot. Despite Marion trying to C block you, he did good. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, Lady Di, who did not sign the Declaration of Independence? John Hancock, Samuel Adams, George Washington, or Thomas Jefferson? Samuel Adams. Wrong. Try again, dumbass. Wrong. Hi. 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 George Washington did not uh, sign that. Yeah. Okay. You're failing uh, the test, Lady Di. Uh-oh. <laughs> what was the uh, cause of the Boston Tea Party? Was it uh, tax on coffee, tax on tea, tax on double mocha latte, or thumb tax? Tax on tea. Okay. Stuff you can get from Bugs Bunny cartoons. Mm -hmm. Information you can get from cartoons. She's coming back a little bit, Anthony. Oh, yeah. Oh, go on. All right, Lady Di, when did the U.S. finally enter World War II? Uh, 1942. Uh, wrong. Try again, dumbass. 41. 1941. Uh -huh. I was off by a year. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> so sorry. All right. What state was actually its own country for nine years before becoming a state? Hawaii, Texas, New Jersey, or Canada? Hawaii. Did I get that one right? <laughs> no. Uh, wrong. Try again, dumbass. <laughs> well, that is Texas. Two out of eight so far. You got okay. Them. Not bad. Two out of eight? Yeah. yeah. Two oh. out of eight. All right. I think that's a two, right? Yeah, that's a sixth grade test. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's even third through six. Third through six. Uh, Lady Di, where did JFK get shot? In the head. In Texas. Uh, what part of Texas? 
Dallas. Right? Yeah. Mm. You remember that one? Yeah, exactly. Mm. What's the zip code? There you go. <laughs> Make sure you vote on opianthony.com. Whether the lady dies, it's there you go. Anthony Guy, what is the Watergate? A hotel, a dam, a presidential retreat, or a gate with water in it? Ooh. A presidential retreat. Mm. Uh, <laughs> wrong! Try again, dumbass! Watergate Hotel. The hotel. Let's see. All right. One, two, three, four. All right. Six. Hey, you were flying. Not yeah. bad. Not bad. You'd get a 30 on the test. All right. 30. No one's perfect. They're going to get right. anyone with Down syndrome either. <laughs> Next question for Lady Di. Hey, Sam, what's Down syndrome over here? <laughs> <laughs> Marion. Marion. Yeah? What do you think so far? Let's oh, do it. it. Yeah, she's going to bash me again. Good enough. Let's do it. Yeah. going to bash me again. Yeah, because you're jealous because I went and got a T-shirt made up, Diane. Because you even told me. I can't tell you that you were mad. I can't tell you anything. You said, what? Who was you saying they like my T-shirt? So you were kind of cringing and mad. Don't tell me. I like a T-shirt, too. I didn't yeah, you want to get one made up because I got one. What are you going to be saying? Same blow up. Jesus Ooh. Christ. I want them to fight with their big, huge pocketbook. Tell her to grow up after this. What are you going to be saying? Now he wants to wrestle. I would love to wrestle because I'd kick your butt. You know it. See that? Oh, <laughs> mm. I smell roadshow. Oh, 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 here we oh, go. Hat you're wearing. Right, let's go. All right. Uh, who did the U.S. fight in the Korean War? Lady Di. Korea. <laughs> what are they called in Korea? Wait, what are they called in Korea? Read the options because it might not be the No, idea. because this is even sillier. What okay. are people in Korea called? Koreans. North or south? North. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. What was the name of the system that helped slaves get north to freedom? Was it uh, the Freedom Trail, the Underground Railroad, the Duck and Cover Trail, or the... <laughs> Rick, you are an ass monkey, man. I would just... Or the what? <laughs> I'm not reading that. Read it. What was it called? All right, can you give me those again, please? No. The Underground Railroad. Ooh. Bringing the average up. Mm -hmm. Coming back. All right, Lady Di, who won the French Revolution? Tree to tree. The English, the French, the Mexicans, or the... The Eskimos. <laughs> the English. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Wrong. Try again, dumbass. What was the answer to that one? <laughs> you really are a living pile of land. It's called the French Revolution. And they're still there. The French one. They late. Okay. They late in a dollar short. All right. How many continents are there on Earth? Eight, ten, seven, or two hundred and eighty-seven. Eight, ten, seven, or two eighty-seven? Yes. Ten. Wrong. Mm -hmm. oh, try again, dumbass. <laughs> You're <laughs> awful. <laughs> two hundred eighty-seven. Everyone right, knows two, eight, that. All right, two hundred eighty-seven. The man in my position can't afford to be made to look. And you look ridiculous. What a fine mess I'm getting myself into over here. Oh, she's doing uh, She's trying to get a catchphrase. <laughs> oh, what a fine mess. There's no way they're making a shirt with that drivel on it. <laughs> hey, Marion. Yeah? What do you think so far? I think you should still brew her off. I don't worry. Why are you turning on her, Marion? She's really yeah, annoying. Why are you doing that? Hey, Jim, it's a long story, but if you'd call her up every night at 7.30, you'd want to know why. Well, you were saying one night alcohol. That, yeah, she was a yeah, drunk and that she was obnoxious to everybody. Yeah, yeah. Pretty he much fights with everybody. everybody. You can't even walk through the house. I'm not fighting with anyone right, right now. now. Don't lie to me. She's calling you a liar, man. Yeah. You fight with everybody in your family, including me. You know, you tune everybody out in your family, and you just worry about yourself. So when I talk that to you, not true. when I talk to you, you're like, oh, well, you don't know. I have these problems and that problem. Let me I tell you one thing, I have a lot of problems too, but I don't go around feeling sorry for myself because I got problems. All right. Okay, Marion. 
You have nothing to say back to her. Yeah, all you do is go, no, I don't. Yeah, okay, Mary. I'm uh, Jeff, real fast. I don't know. Watch your little thumbs up. dying, guys. All right? She's killing me. Yes, I know. You're, no. the, you're a social studies teacher? Yeah. I got seven great kids that would score higher than she is right now. Of course. Of course. Uh, oh, uh, wait. Thank you. Uh, Anthony, why don't you get a few of these out? All right. What's the nickname for New York State? The Big Apple. <sighs> Dumbass. You really should know this since you took Fay Ray up the side of it. <laughs> yeah, complete ass. The official thing, not for the um, city tourism, the, not for the tourism or the city, the state okay. of New York is the Empire State. The Empire State. Okay. Yeah. The big I say it now. Mm -hmm. All right, so I grab the next one. When Ronald Reagan said the evil empire, who was he talking about? The evil empire? Yeah, the evil empire. When he mentioned the evil empire, who was Ronald Reagan talking about? Um, I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. You want to give answers? Was it the Democratic Party? Mm -hmm. Was it the People's Republic of China? Was it the Soviet Union? Or was it the Clintons? The Soviet Union. Oh, Thank you. that was a, such a gimme. All right. What is water also known as? HO2, H2O2, H2O, R2D2. H2O. It's another easy one. Hmm. Oh, Children know this. Oh, fourth, third to sixth. Yeah. yeah. What is the largest state in the continental U.S., Lady Di? Alaska, Nevada, Texas, or your fat ass? <laughs> Texas. Mm -hmm. Going back strong. Okay. Three in a row, eh? Yeah. I'm trying. There were how many original colonies? Nine? <laughs> I don't know. Bam. Wrong. Try again. Oh, man. That, was, that was a guess. Thirteen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> question is 20. Rick, that's not even what is true. That question? Why didn't George Washington smile? He had wooden teeth. You just wrote that so you could put the letter D. He had boss teeth. <laughs> he had boss teeth. Did you, read, did you read what Dummy wrote? He had wooden teeth. <laughs> wooden teeth. Like, in the wooden, is it? Trees and shrubs around his mouth. <laughs> All right. All right, let's move on. Uh, Lady Di, who shot Abraham Lincoln? I'm not giving choices. You should just you know. You should know this stuff. I'm not going to give choices for the real easy ones. Who shot Abraham Lincoln? I uh, forgot. I don't know. <laughs> that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago, yeah. Uh, Do I have to give choices? Now you, I, I don't, I think that should be wrong. If you don't automatically know who shot Lincoln. Yeah, that, come on, no. You don't know no. who shot Abraham Lincoln? No. I forgot right now. Now, you get it wrong. You get it wrong, but I'll give you a choice and see if you get it right. Okay. Lee Harvey Oswald, John Lee Hooker, John Wilkes Booth, or Jack Ruby? John Wilkes Booth. See? You should know that. I'm not refreshing your goddamn memory on these things. No. That's wrong. 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 Who were the Redcoats? Who were the Redcoats? I know people people fighting a war. I'm I'm not sure. Wow, that's okay. <laughs> Were you an idiot? No, of course not. I don't know. <laughs> the red coats. Give me the choices. No, it was during no, the Revolutionary no, War. No choices on that one. Body density of Jupiter. You should know that. <laughs> Who was the red coats? Revolutionary War. It was during the Revolutionary War. During the Revolutionary Third War. Who would know the red coats? I used to know that. I don't. Oh my God. Who were the red coats? Oh. I, I gave you the war. How many goddamn options could there be? The Redcoats were the French people. Wrong! <laughs> <laughs> oh, try again, dumbass! Yes. Who fought in the Revolutionary War? Who fought in the Revolutionary War? Oh, oh man. <laughs> Who fought in the Revolutionary War? Who are we fighting oppression from? We broke freedom. Germany. 
<laughs> yes, you're right. We started in Germany and came over here in 1892. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marion, your friend is stupid. Hey, I didn't go to school with him. All right. <laughs> All right, so a couple more. we got to take a break. Then the British. The British, okay. Go ahead, Ed. Thank you for telling me that. Who um, discovered gravity? <laughs> Give me the multiple choices. Just look at your body. <laughs> you should know that. Why do we have to give you choices? I'll, I'll, I'll give you my choices on this one. Isaac Newton, Galileo, Copernicus, or Sigmund Freud? Galileo. Bam. Wrong. Try again, dumbass. Sir Isaac Newton. Oh, okay. What do you mean, okay? I bet you we, we could ask you the same question in two minutes and you'll, you'll, you'll know, know the answer. Oh, okay. Marion? Ed Norton? Ed Norton? <laughs> All right, who discovered electricity, Lady Di? Thomas Edison. Hey, that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm trying in, dumbass. Wow. She was so confident. She goes, you got to give me that one. Come on. I know it's Thomas Edison. <laughs> Thomas Edison! <laughs> you are a moron! <laughs> Who discovered electricity? Thomas Edison. Come on! <laughs> Gotta give me that one. Gotta give me that one. Everybody says! Alright, who invented right. the Ford Mustang? Gerald Ford? <laughs> no, no, you don't have any choices. Yeah, no choices on that. Who invented Henry Ford? That's hey, fine. Right. No. That's wrong. That's wrong. Oh, Lee Iacocca? Yeah, you cut, you're right. I didn't even look at the mm -hmm. third choice. That's wrong. Yeah, so she's wrong. When he was working for Ford. That was wrong? Yeah, that was wrong. Oh, okay. Trick question. Trick question. Trick question. Yeah, that was a trick question. The electricity one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle John wants to say, we all know Paul Revere shouted, Germans are coming, the Germans are coming. <laughs> <laughs> One more, Anthony, before we take our uh, yeah. You know what? Now it's too hard, so we'll, we'll go with an easier one. Yeah. Okay. Eli Whitney is famous for inventing what? Eli <laughs> Whitney. the good, the bad, the ugly? <laughs> <laughs> Mad cow disease, the cotton gin, whiskey, the automobile. The cotton gin. <laughs> See, you gave her the choice. Every kid knows. If there's one inventor that you know as a kid, it's it's Eli Whitney. Yeah, and his yeah. stupid cotton gin. I'm going to give her that one, though. I don't even know what a cotton gin is. No one does, but you know Eli Whitney invented it. All right, while we take a quick break, we'll finish the exam next day. All right. You've got to go to opianthony.com and vote if she should stay or go. We need all the faithful listeners to do that. She has so far one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, I got a question about my history. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 wrong, Anthony. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 right. Mm -hmm. Under 50%. Oh, yeah. I wish I had the 9 right. Under a 50. Yes. It's an exam for 3rd to 6th grade. And you're getting the 3rd grade ones right. Maybe you can beat your the history third degree too. while you're on the trip. You know what? I was going to say something. I'm going to let that one just bomb on its own. <laughs> Well, where are we? Anything? I... Say it. No, I don't. I don't know. 
You don't you know, know the first man who walked on the goddamn moon. Jesus Christ, it's like the, the biggest thing ever. You should know the first, the second, and the guy that circled while they walked. You right. Mm -hmm. Well? Okay, well, I'm thinking right now. I'm thinking. Yeah. You sure? Mm hmm. That just might be an indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. John Smith. Wrong! Try again, dumbass! Why would you guess John Smith? Do you know any astronauts? Wouldn't you guess an astronaut? Pick an American not, not astronaut. Yet. Name one Name astronaut. Name one American astronaut from any time period. One. Everyone one shut up. American astronaut. <laughs> Name one astronaut. Okay, Sam Smith. <laughs> you can't name one astronaut. Not off yet, not right now. How do you survive? <laughs> <laughs> Can you? Yeah. Well, I work. That's what wow. I do. That's amazing. You, you can't name one astronaut. Not off yet, not right now. Whatever. I, 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 have to brush, I have to brush up on my history. What can I say? Brush up on your history is not knowing when the Magna Carta was signed. Right. First, as you have to brush up on your genetic pool. It's don't know who landed on the moon first. Thank you. <laughs> you do have your tubes tied at this point, right? God, I hope so. Don't matter. There's nothing, Soldered. nothing going in there anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You know what yeah. tubes are you? Never mind. I, I, yeah, I, I know yeah, that. All right, go ahead, Ann. Give me another one there. Okay. He's never going to get that yeah, one. By the way, yeah, I know. From. What is it? It was Louis Armstrong. <laughs> you know what? Stretch not. <laughs> we'll, she's not going to get uh, which branch of the government makes the laws. No. Louis Armstrong. <laughs> What was the name of the cross-dressing former director of the uh, st CIA? FBI. FBI, you tool. I don't know that. He have wooden give, me, give me the multiple choice for that. No. Oh. No, you should know this. It's the most famous director of the FBI ever. What's the name of the cross-dressing oh, former director the of the FBI. FBI? Yeah. He started the FBI. That's it. Repeat it. That will help. <laughs> yeah. What does the FBI stand for? Well, that's a bad, bumbling idiot. Bureau, Federal Bureau of, Invest of Investigation. All right. That wasn't a question. That's not the question. Well, though. Okay. Now, who was the first guy who, who was known for cross-dressing? I don't know. <sighs> Nothing. Well, why don't you give me the multiple choice? Wrong! Try again, dumbass! No, because it's a bunch of goof guys and, and the real guy. J. Okay. Edgar Hoover. Oh, okay. Did you know that? Now I know. Now that he's telling me, I remember now. And he later went on to make what household cleaning device? The Hoover vacuum cleaner. Wrong, idiot. <laughs> All right, what was his name again? She sounds like, you gotta give me that one, the Hoover vacuum cleaner. What was his name? What was his name? What was his name? J. J. James Edgar Hoover. James? James Edgar Hoover? <laughs> I just told you. All right. Uh, one in the air and out the other. Uh, well, okay. Name the two largest bodies of water on Earth. The Atlantic and the Pacific. That's too easy. Yeah, God, I got that one. Well, for right. third to six mm -hmm. meters. Right. Uh, what is the imaginary line that separates the Earth's two hemispheres? A little science. The equator. Oh, no. I got that one. You sure did. Mm -hmm. You're a smart one. You could have just as easily been your belt. No. How long no, does it take the Earth to rotate? 24 hours. Ooh, she's creeping up now. Where are we at, Stink? How many right, how many wrong? 12 right, 17 wrong. <laughs> That's not so bad. It stinks. It's not even a 50. It's not a Princeton admission exam. <laughs> okay, third and sixth graders. <laughs> uh, the Earth rotates on this imaginary line called... The equator. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Try again, dumbass. <laughs> Jeez, first day of summer, but I think it's about four hours is going to be spring, <laughs> winter again, and then off the equator. Well, they like to call it the axis. The axis? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. How many legs does a spider have? Thirteen. 
Why would you pick an even number, you squad? Yeah. How could a you know, pick an even number? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Oh, was the, the last one was his mule drag. Yeah. Oh, I'll try again, dumbass. Eight. But even more amazing, she's obviously guessing, and she she doesn't pick an, <laughs> an even number. I'm yeah. trying. It wouldn't be an odd number unless he married McCartney. <laughs> When water changes, nice. when water changes from liquid to gas, the process is called. Can you give me the multiple choices on that? No, there isn't any. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> You're so no. stupid. Oh, try again, dumbass. Well, the evaporation. You ever hear of it? I've heard of that. All right, name the four directions. East, west, north, and south. Oh, that's a gimme. Oh, that stinks. I had to make it easier for Rick. Go ahead, Ann. All right, please. What planet is closest to the sun? The Earth. <laughs> the Earth? Venus. Venus. Do you know, it, what was the TV show? That starred John Lithgow as an alien that came to this planet. What was it called? Oh, I can open both. Third? You ever hear of a show called Third Rock from the Sun? You ever hear of that show? I heard of that show. And do you know what that Third Rock from the Sun is? Earth. So perhaps there's two other ones that are closer to the Sun. Do you know what those are? Venus and Mars? Did I get that one right? No, stupid. Okay. I'm one right. It's not even funny anymore. Saturn? Yeah, that's closer to the, the closest planet to the sun is. I'm amazed you can remember to eat. You have no clue. <laughs> that's instinct. <laughs> Bears don't plan on hibernating, they just do it. Mercury. Really got a minute okay, left in the show, Ant. So this will carry over to Monday, obviously, but. Alright, who drafted the, uh, the Declaration of Independence? Who drafted it? Jim. Wasn't Jim. Come on, who drafted the Declaration of Independence? Everyone knows this one. Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> yes, while Edison was discovering electricity. <laughs> and Edison was off flying a kite. <laughs> well, you right. guys, you're really stupid. You really, you really are. It's been a stupid. long time since I took history, so. These are things that you just know as a human being, as an American, as somebody right. walking okay. this planet. How about this? This is an easy one. What is the name of the document that is the framework for our government? The Declaration of Independence? It's got to be. Are you, 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 are you messing with us? No, I'm not. Right? You're, it's you're been full a long on. time. That's wrong, so. What's the answer to that one? Magna Carta. Everyone knows. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> no way. All right, well, we got to get out of here. Constitution. Constitution. You ever hear of the Constitution? Yes, I heard of the Constitution. Not constipation. No, no, Constitution. You I heard obviously that. have building up in your bowels. <laughs> no. Stink. What do we got? 13 right, 23 wrong. What percent is that? That's uh, just uh, just over 33, I believe, right, if I do it quick? Yeah. I'm surprised I got those 13 right. About have her figure out the percent. <laughs> yeah. About a 35. On a test that uh, third to sixth graders take. Very good. My son knows more than more about the history right now. He has no spider mule. Thirteenth <laughs> leg. He has no the thirteenth leg. Anthony, unfortunately, we ran out of time for today, so yeah, we did. Thank you, Lady Di. Okay, you're welcome. I mean, we got to get off the air like right now. So yeah. go to opianthony.com, vote for Lady Di, whether she should stay or should or she uh, should go. I'm stammering now. I can't believe what we just went through. And of course, uh, check out the the, the Wow contestants as well on opianthony.com. Have a great weekend. We'll see you guys Monday. I got you so bad. Friends of the Opian Anthony Show, stay at the Park Central New York here in Midtown Manhattan. Call 1-800-346-1359. Spring rate starting at $189. The Opie and Anthony Show. Playing at a mess that he looks like a dildo. Have you ever struck out playing softball as this a penis of the week? Sports in the morning with Pharrell. Live at 545. 1027. WNAW. Looks like the bar's closing up. Yep, closing up. 
Mm-hmm. How about walking me home? Uh, yeah, okay, I'll go get your coat. I'm getting Peter's green light tonight because Peter is drinking more fun. Well, sure, he keeps forgetting my name and he's been talking my chest all night. And yes, his eyes kept wandering over to the big screen TV while I was telling him about my sister's operation. But the fact that Peter drinks more fun, a fine Canadian in part, tells me he's experienced and lovely. Obviously, Peter's been around the block. Enough to know Molson comes from a place where most everything is cold and pure. And that's just the kind of guy who could really rock my world. Yeah, afterwards, he'll probably never call. But tonight, I've got a little surprise for Peter. Because Peter's thinking Molson. Molson Canadian. Let your Molson do the talking. The proceeding has been a wacky fictional portrayal. Drinking Molson will not get you women, friend. Imported by Molson USA, LLC, Golden, Colorado. By the way, Lady Di has a permanent mustache that we drew on with a black Sharpie. Yeah, we drew it in Sharpie. And I'll tell you, we've done signings and stuff like that. When I get Sharpies on my finger, I wash my hand every time after I go to the bathroom. I go in the home that night, shower. I wake up in the morning and go, why do I still have Sharpie on my finger? It is the hardest thing to wash off. And it's all under her nose. And I think she forgot about it, so don't tell her. So you'll see Oliver Hardy uh, walking all over the tri-state area this weekend. Hmm. She thought that we go, we told her, hey, no, it'll come right off. It'll wash right off. <laughs> Permanent marker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're fat. <laughs> we're ugly. We, we won't, won't shut up and we're nauseating. <laughs> we're so annoying, no one can take it. When we look in the mirror, we break it. We'll give you nightmares all day long. Like a couple of weebles, not an ounce of sex appeal. <laughs> Making sense for us is not possible. A warthog and Godzilla in leather pants. <laughs> yes, we're both retard. 